Hello and welcome back to Storytime at Nana's House. I am so glad that you're here right now. So the book I want to share is from Sesame Street, of course, and this is Elmo's first book of animals. Oh, this is going to be a great one. And this book was produced by my friends over at Benden Books who have given me permission to share this with you now. So here it goes. Elmo loves animals. Do you love animals too? Some animals are big. Some animals are small. Some animals live on a farm. Elmo would like a new pet. Do you see an animal that would be a good pet for Elmo? What do you think? Do you think a cow? A cow would be a good pet for Elmo? Hmm, I wonder. What other animals are there? What is this? That's a goat. Do you think a goat would be a good pet for Elmo? Oh, how about a little lamb? <laughs> how about a chicken? See the chickens down there? How about a duck? <laughs> how about a horse? Hey! Yay! Oh my goodness, so many animals. Which one do you think I most should choose? Really? Let's find out. Many animals live in the wild. Like a giraffe. Long neck there. A snake. An orangutan. A lizard, a crocodile, Ooh. a lion, Roar. a rhinoceros, so many animals. Elmo does not see a good pet here. Do you? Some animals have wings and can fly. Maybe Elmo would like a pet that flies, like a butterfly, oh, or a parrot, see the parrot, or a crane, or a dragonfly, or maybe a parakeet, or a bee. Oh, I don't know about having a pet bee. Oh, look up here. Nana almost missed these. Right there, do you see the pigeon? He's right up there at the tippy top. Oh, and there's a bat, too. They are great for insect control. <laughs> My goodness, so many choices. Let's see. Some animals live under the water in the sea. Are there any pets here that live in water? Oh, I see a few. Let's see. Oh, look, there's Dorothy in the fish bowl. Dorothy doesn't live in the ocean, does she? How about a dolphin? Ooh. A sea turtle? A stingray? A hammerhead shark? <laughs> Let's see what else. A crab. Do you see the crab at the very bottom there? Crab. Good. Let's see. A jellyfish. So beautiful, but I don't know about for a pet. Fish. Fish make good pets, don't they? My goodness. Oh, look down here. Nana almost missed these. Those are seahorse. Do you think that seahorses, when they're underwater, do they go, nay? Do you think they do? That would be so silly, wouldn't it? But who knows? Oh, there's an octopus at the very bottom there. Let's see. Or an eel. Whoa. That's a pet, isn't it? Not really. <laughs> oh, look. Look at the stork or the crane right there. He's just floating on top of the water, not underneath. Do you see any of those pets? Are any of those animals that might make a good pet for Elmo? Hmm. 
Let's keep going. Elmo sees animals on Sesame Street, too. Hmm. Do you see any good pets? Do you? Let's see. What animals live in your neighborhood? Oh, my goodness. Uh, can you find a dog? Where's the dog at? Do you see the dog? Right there. Good job. Can you find a cat? Meow, meow, meow. Right there. Cat. Can you find a squirrel? A snail? A turtle? Let's see. Squirrel, squirrel. Where are you, squirrel? Oh, squirrel. <gasps> There's a squirrel. Did you see it? You found it. Good job. Okay, what about... Hmm, a snail. I don't know. It's kind of small. Let's see if we can find... Oh, my goodness. Look right there. Just crawling across the sidewalk on Sesame Street. How about a turtle? Turtle, turtle. Hmm. Where is the turtle? Oh, you know what? Pff, Nana made a mistake. There's the snail, Nana. Silly Nana. And over here, that's the turtle. Oh, gracious. Sometimes grown-ups make mistakes, too. How about a bird? Do you see a bird? Do you see it in the sky? Yes, right there. Do you see the bird? Oh, my goodness. There's a bird. Oh, and there's another bird over there. So many birds. How about a spider? Would a spider make a good pet? Hmm. Nana is looking, looking, looking. A little spider, where are you? Oh, I see it. Look over on this wall. Can you find the spider? Yes, you're right, right there. Good job. Okay, how about, let's see, a butterfly, a frog, a rabbit? Let's see, butterfly, beautiful butterfly. Where are you at? Nana is looking, and I'm not seeing it. Oh, I see it now. Look in this area. Do you see the beautiful butterfly? Yeah, there it is right there. Good job. How about a frog? Oh, froggy. I don't think he's looking for Kermit the frog. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> guess what? There's Kermit the Frog. Kermit is a frog, isn't he? Would Kermit make a good pet? I think so, too, because he's very clever and funny and kind. All right, let's see what else. Rabbit and a caterpillar. Oh, Mr. Rabbit. Bum, 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 bum. Where are you, Mr. Rabbit? Nana's having a hard time seeing a rabbit. Hmm, I can't find the rabbit. That's odd. Let's see, where are you, Mr. Rabbit? Oh, I found it. Look on the same page as Elmo. Do you see the rabbit? <gasps> right there. You see it? Oh, it's so cute. Such a funny bunny. All right, what's next? Caterpillar. Can you find the caterpillar? Oh, caterpillar, where are you? Hmm, Nana is searching high and searching low. But where did that caterpillar go? Hmm, I cannot seem to locate it. Gracious. Keep looking, Nan, keep looking. Where is it? Oh, man, I don't know. Oh, I see. Well, I guess. Is Slimy a caterpillar? Do you see Slimy at the bottom? I think Slimy is a caterpillar, I think think perhaps how about a furry red monster could you find a furry red monster for a pet <laughs> Elmo he can't be his own pet that's so silly but he is furry and red and friendly and fun too now that is the end of this book thank you so much for helping Nana you did such a good job and I'm so proud of you 
Well, it is time for me to go, but before I do, I just want to encourage you to continue letting your light shine by being kind. Until next time, take care of yourselves. God bless you. And remember, parents, teachers, caregivers, this goes for you too. This Nana loves you. Take care.